Bonjour, I am Sandrine, the founder and leader of the Golden Age Spiritual Ministry. Together, we learn about the embodiment of our multidimensionality so we can reclaim our full sovereignty in this beautiful reality. My High Council and I are happy to welcome you into our movement of spiritual revolution. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new transmissions. Thank you for liking, commenting below and sharing this video. Show us your love. Hello and welcome in this transmission. I am so excited to share with you a little bit about the Acturians as we are up approaching the gateway with Arcturus. The alignment of our sun with this very bright star is going to happen on the 17th of October. So the gateway actually opens on the 15th and closes on the 19th. And this energy of Arcturus is going to be very strong and very potent. So I thought I would share in advance so you can prepare for that. Uh, the frequency of Arcturus is especially good to use to harness heart opening, abundance, prosperity, and also success in the achievement of our dreams and desires. Uh, the Arcturian frequency is a frequency that is elegant, it is gracious, it is very royal in the most crystalline term of royalty, but it is also deeply humble. There is a lot of kindness in that energy. So I would love to invite you during the month of October and as we prepare moving in the month of October to already start tuning into yourself, into perceiving where you can find refinement around this frequencies. How do you carry yourself? How do you talk about yourself? Because with the Acturian frequency, there is um, a need or it's um, the gateway is literally a door that brings energy in that is going to activate certain frequency in the field and therefore it is easier to shift into the areas that are amplified by a portal. This is why it's important to know about this, because when you know that a gateway and a portal are opening up, for example, Arcturus at the moment, it's like, oh, these are the dynamics that are enhanced. So it means that I will be able to shift more effortlessly around this area. So for example, with Arcturus, as I, as I shared before, there is an invitation to look into the way you carry yourself. Do you cultivate beauty? Do you cultivate beauty for yourself with the way you, you, you do your hair and makeup and the way you dress and the way you walk? But not only that, do you cultivate the beauty way and prosperity with the way you speak about yourself and the world and also other people? Because if you see others and the world or yourself as being ugly, as being cheap, as being broken, as being scarce. If you wonder why am why am I not uh, prettier? Why am I not you know a, a richer and so on? It's like it just shows that there is refinement needed because you are actually anchored into lower fractal reflection frequency density there, and it's not a match to the invitation that this gateway has to step into the remembrance of our true divine nature. Our true divine nature is already living in abundance, is already living in the beauty way, which means that we beautify things. We don't make the world ugly. We beautify things in our own way by cultivating our body, but also our heart, our environment, like we make our home, our house beautiful, inviting, fresh, clean, tidy, all of that. And we do also that in the mind, of course, because um, having honor, the Arcturians have a huge sense of honor. And honor is something that is very unique. It happens within the intimacy of our own heart. It is when no one's looking around, when no one knows what you're doing, what are you actually doing? So inside your mind, nobody knows what's happening inside your mind, telepathically, Maybe, but not very precisely at this stage, right? So maybe inside your mind, you actually have really harsh words for yourself. 
maybe inside your mind you actually put other people down thinking that oh no one will know but that one oh, she's a bitch and that guy blah 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 and maybe inside your mind you just come continuously chew on the past and the pain and the trauma and you just put a nice smile on your face and face and pretend and go along like with a mask on all day long day after day thinking that it's just the way it is so we are encouraged to really observe at the moment in preparation of this portal coming up in about a month now by the time I publish this transmission on my uh, YouTube and also podcast, we are invited to now bring this gentle awareness into our field so we can refine that. So this is why I wanted to make a, a quick video today to share with you. It's because now... Take time to observe these few things. Do you have, are you honorable? Are you honorable? Meaning that you treat yourself and others with the highest level of respect, even when no one looks around, when no one knows what you're doing. Do you have the highest level of honor? Do you cultivate the beauty way? Do you cultivate beauty on your physical body? inside your physical body, inside your home and around you, meaning like you see other people's beauty, even if they don't see it. And do you cultivate a um, heart that is abundant and, and prosperous? Or do you continuously think that you don't have enough, that you are not enough, that there is not enough in the world? that you will never have, you know, wealth or whatever that it is that you want. Just observe all of that. Start digging in. The Actorians want to share that they are going to be especially present, of course, during this month of October. And that you can ask them for their guidance and for their help because you might perceive them very clearly through your intuitive senses. But you might not. But that doesn't matter if you don't. Because it's not because you don't perceive them very clearly that they are not there helping. It's the same with angels, archangels, ascended masters, earth elementals, dragons. It's not because our very limited senses cannot perceive that it doesn't exist. So if you want to cultivate a relationship with the Actorians, cultivate it now. It's happening now. You don't need to wait for that. Call them. You will perceive them. Actorians are extremely tall, blue, gracious beings. They have a gigantic head that is a little bit triangular shape, huge, huge brain. They have the most gigantic eyes. And when you look at, into their eyes, everything melts away. It's like just gazing into the eyes of an Actorian is just being at one, as one with the universe. It's like all the pain and the trauma and the burden and the challenges and the blocks and all of this is just like, for a moment, it's just no longer there. It's just gone into this ultimate field of embrace that they have this, this very high level of love and compassion and the ability that they have to, to heal, to bring healing, because Actorians are the master healer of the galaxy. They have very advanced quantum technology, but mostly they just heal through their presence, through sharing their heart, through high gazing, through touching, through moving frequency around you, through sharing light and sound frequency. So ask them for help. Also, if you need healing in a certain body part, in a certain system in your body, in your mind, in your heart, whatever needs to be healed, pray. Pray to the Actorians. Ask them for guidance. Ask them for healing. And rejoice. Rejoice in the knowing that the world that we live in now allows us to more and more clearly open up our heart and our consciousness to co-creating with 
advanced masters in non-physical forms. And actorians are some of the most advanced masters that you can learn from, train with, and really receive healing and mentorship from. As we prepare for the month of, actor, of the Actors Gateway, there's an invitation as well that is coming to realize that progress, scientific progress, progress of our consciousness, progress in our abundance, in our prosperity, only happens if we don't block it by being sarcastic, by um, uh, always checking facts, you know, like oh, this doesn't make sense because blah, blah, blah. But by realizing that faith and intuition is what eventually leads to quantum leap into discoveries around uh, science to start with, but also quantum leaping into realities in terms of abundance and prosperity and happiness and joy and connection with others and creating a new reality. The Actorians wants me to share with you now that for humanity to heal from the intense thousands of years of deep trauma that have been inflicted in most cultures around the planet, we need to reconnect to a high level of faith so we can quantum leap because now is not a time where we are going to heal one little tiny scratch and wound at a time because we'll still be here in thousands and thousands of years. Now is the time to open up our heart into the deep knowing that resides there that when we hold ourselves at the highest, when we remember each and every one of us who we truly are, which is fractals of divine source consciousness, when we remember that we are whole already, that we are already residing in the unified field, that we are just learning to walk the way back to embodying that fully through our entire being, each and every day that passes, the more we reside into that faith, in the inner knowing within our heart, the more we allow ourselves and therefore through the principle of quantum resonance, which is a universal law, we allow others and our reality to shift completely in a very short period of time. For that, we need to activate courage. Be courageous to change. Be courageous to open your heart and mind. Be courageous to take action based upon your intuition. First, start small. Yes? I don't want you, after this transmission, to go and like quit your job, leave your partner, uh, you know, pack a bag and go to Bali uh, just because, you know, you felt a good feeling you wanted to do that, so let's do it. No. Here I'm talking about refining that, you know, because there is such thing as dancing with the playground of earth like a master. What I mentioned before about packing our things and taking like really fast, irrational decision, that is not mastery. That is being like a child, yeah, like a child that is immature. So take, make changes following your intuition once at a time. The Actorian says starting with the, the food that you put in your body is very good. Starting with changing, you know, some the clothes that you wear, changing some things about your interior design, uh, about your circle of friends and things like that. It's like, take small steps. The more you feel safe into trusting your intuition as you take small steps, the easier it will be to trust your intuition as you take huge steps. I'm, I'm speaking from experience. I have practiced that for a very long time, and now uh, I can tell you, I take quantum leap very fast, but God, it does require a lot of faith and a lot of courage, because at times I'm going like, what the fuck? <laughs> that makes crazy no sense if I was a normal slash normal, you know, um, in brackets here, a human being, you know, with everything that others would say to me, but I have unconditional faith 
in my success. I have unconditional faith in the fact that I can follow my intuition because I have practiced mastery of the small steps before. So the Actorians just wants me to finish this transmission with reminding you that you chose this life for a reason and that you are a master walking the path of enlightenment, that you are in the unified field already, that you are not broken, you are not destroyed, you are not less than anyone else on this planet. You are not even less than an Actorian, they say. You are not less than an Ascended Master, less than an angel. You are you. There is only one you in the entire creation. Because there is only one you experiencing this algorithm of reality with your body, your name, your age, your familial situation, your challenges. There is only one you. You are completely unique. And then you're not special because everyone's special. Everyone is unique. And that's the beauty of this reality. So the more you can remember who you truly are, that you are invincible, unbreakable, the more you will be unshakable. And you will rise to remember your full potential. The Actorians are here to remind us that. They are prosperous. They are the masters of manifestation, of achievement, of grace, and of royalty. And we say thank you very much for watching this transmission. We want to invite you, before we leave, to join the Golden Drop. The Golden Drop is the new subscription that you can join on a monthly basis. During the month of October, you will receive unique trans-channeling messages from the Actorians with an activation during the gateway. You will receive meditations with the Actorians and a lot of messages that are going to help you navigate this gateway and also receive cosmic sun and so much more. So you can join now the Golden Drop membership and receive directly as a text message a little note from me and my High Council with an audio meditation or a video uh, direct link to the podcast. So many things. Also light language. So many, so many goodness happens in the Golden Drop. I would love to invite you to join. We will place a um, link directly here. You can cancel at any time. I send you lots of love and I will see you hopefully in the golden drop for a lot of amazing goodness. Bye.